Well, today we're looking at a Doc 2 game, and this is a 1970s game, I think it was about 1974, and it's called War of the Daleks. Uh, this is just turned up from eBay, so we'll have a look at it. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. There's a, one of the box flaps is a bit torn, but that'd be an easy repair. Um, still got the original price ticket on Child's Play, £5.50Z. Um, so Child's Play, presumably a toy shop. Uh, they're probably long gone. So this is a fast, exciting, all-action game. Strawberry Fair by Dennis Fisher. Um, Strawberry Fair was a subdivision of Dennis Fisher. The Daleks will exterminate. You must destroy the control center. And then you uh, got a nice illustration of the Daleks on the front. An approximation thereof. It looks like the Terry Nation one, that with the red head. But uh, it does actually match the toys. So let's just take the box lid off. You can see the side. So there's some kids having great fun. The Daleks are everywhere, moving and revolving with sinister stealth as they hunt their enemies. And then the exploding uh, Dalek control center. Beware of the King Dalek. I used to have this one as a kid. Um, I remember, I don't know if they still do this in schools, but on the last day of school, you could, last day of term, you could take games in and play them all day. So as the teachers didn't have to do anything, I think. Um, and I remember taking this in and someone stole all the Daleks out of it, which I thought was really nice. So as you can see, this one looks to be completely complete. So you get the reply slip for Dennis Fisher. So if anything was uh, missing, you could send these off and they would know that it came out of uh, one of their products and they would send you the part that was missing. It is quite nice. Then you get the instructions, so rules for the War of the Daleks. And then it just goes through, so setting up the board. And the object of the game is basically Ludo to get round the board. And then you have to slot the Dalek control centre into place. And then each player gets a playing piece. It looks a bit like uh, Roy Castle as Ian from the Dalek motion pictures. And then all the instructions on playing it. I don't remember, it was quite a simple game. Um, so you get, the. I mean, as a kid, these were like the, these were what we wanted the game for, plastic Daleks. I mean, they're horribly inaccurate, but they've got a charm, haven't they? Look at that. They're great. I've seen these sold on eBay so often as Rollican Daleks, which of course they're not. So you get four silver and red, four gold and blue. You get the Dalek control room, which is basically just a X. You get explosion symbols, extermination symbols, and then a bag full of bits. So let's get this out and build it up, and we'll see what, how it played. Okay, so I've repaired the box, so it's now fairly solid. And the way I did that was just some licky sticky parcel tape. That stuff, it's like a couple of quid for a roll. Uh, it works really well on these boxes because it once it's dried out, it's dried, so it doesn't, uh, unlike sellotape, it doesn't um, just leave a stain and fall off. So first off, the board came out and it was a, a board within a board, basically, but look at these graphics. They're just great. Alex City. It's the termination Dalek. Uh, same on those sides. Okay, so the board is all set up. Um, so basically you've got the Daleks on their tracks, you've got the playing pieces, and you've got the command center in the middle. And then what would happen is you also you meant to have two of two each of these of each colour, so I'm missing a few of these, so I might have to print some up. And you would place these uh, on different paths you'd get two each and you'd choose them and the idea being that if you land on that disc um and a dalek's nearby or next to it you can exterminate the dalek or if you land on the disc and the dalek goes next to you you, you don't get exterminated um so basically you would throw your dice move your people if you landed on so move along if you land on one of the black spot discs you can then turn this knob and patrol the Daleks. The idea being that you can turn it in one direction only 
as much as you want and the idea is that you want to exterminate the uh, the other players but not yourself so let's just move some of these players and put them sort of around the board and see what happens so you would turn it and it, oh, actually I need to hold on to the base because it's quite light so you would turn this and you see the Daleks patrol about and the idea being that you can only go to the end where the Daleks are but if the Dalek goes next to the spot that someone's on so this Dalek would exterminate that guy he would then go back to the beginning back to the start and try again um, it's a nice nice feature as a kid it was miraculous these Daleks are moving about of themselves it's very simple and basically you would make your way around the board do, 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 all the way and the first person that gets to gets right around the board and then gets to here by the control room they then get to lift up the control and if the king dalek which is the termination dalek if the king dalek hits that guy you're exterminated so you've lost the game um if you land if it's one where it's not near it then you're not exterminated and you win so it's quite a simple game but oh my god it's so imaginative they just don't make games like this anymore i remember this was like high technology when we were kids I used to play with the daleks all over i used to play with the wheat bix figures <coughs> on the board because i think i lost pretty much most of the pieces on my one so i'm so happy to have this i'm going to do some running repairs so as you can see the box is a little bit broken on one side, but I've got some brown packing tape, you know, the, the licky sticky stuff, and that's really good for repairing these boxes. It's a little bit grubby, so I might take a very sort of slightly damp cloth to it, um, but otherwise it's in superb condition. The actual contents are great. Like I say, missing a couple of the discs, but I can uh, scan them and print them out. Um, absolutely superb. So glad to have this. Uh, thanks to my wife for spotting this on eBay. Uh, bargain price. So yeah, so brilliant stuff. I think we might have a game tonight. Such excitement. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these, I've got quite a few Doctor Who games, modern and vintage, so I certainly show them off. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.